So for our problem, we have to find the centroid of the solid. So it says that the first quadrant area bounded by y squared is equal to 8x, x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 0 is revolved about the x-axis. So that means na iko siya around x-axis. Ayan. So para maharap natin yung centroid, we have to first find the volume. So para ba natin maharap yung volume? So we have three methods in finding the volume of a solid. Pwedeng disk method, pwedeng washer method, pwede ring shell method. Pero in this problem, spoiler alert, ang gagamitin natin is yung disk method. And mamaya malalaman nyo kung bakit. So the first step in finding the volume is to graph muna. Ayan. So ito yung equation natin na y squared is equal to 8x. So it is a parabola. Okay? And then, what if... So, para naman yung bound natin. So, yung first bound natin is x is equal to 2. So, it is a vertical line, which is around here. Ayan. 2 yan. And then, lastly, y is equal to 0, which is a horizontal line, which lies in x-axis. So, ganyan siya. So, which means, ito lang yung Itong shape lang yung kailangan natin kunin. Itong shape lang. Oops. Ayan. So, ito yung ano natin. Um, shape. And then, magre-revolve around x-axis. Ayan. Kaya, this method yung gamitin natin. Kasi, yung magiging shape na to is isang buong solid lang siya. Which, pag in-imagine mo to, pag to inikot mo dyan sa x-axis, ang, ang magiging shape niya is ganito ganyan yung shape niya. So, para siyang, uh, para siyang yung dulo ng lapis, yung pambura. Parang ganyan siya. Wala siyang gap sa loob. Wala siyang buta sa loob. Okay? Isang pong solid yan. Kaya siya this method, kasi tipa disk, para siyang ganyan. Disk. Ganyan. Kaya this method, kasi in order to find the volume of this solid, kailangan mong kunin yung volume na to, itong disk, itong volume na itong disk, itong volume na itong disk, ito rin, ito rin, hanggang mapuno mo yung buong solid. So yung disk method, parang pupunuin mo lang yung buong solid na yan ng disk. Tapos yung kada disk, kukunin mo yung volume din nun. And then, after mong makuha yun, ipag-add mo lahat ngayon yung volume ng disk. And kapag na-add mo na yun, doon mo na makukuha yung volume nitong solid. Kaya this method. Okay? So, ano ba yung formula for this method? So, this method, ang formula niya is integral from A to B pi r squared dx. dx kasi in terms of x because x-axis yung revolution natin. Okay? Kung y yan, edi dapat dy ito. So, isa-isay natin. So, ano yung a natin? Ano yung b? Yung a natin is yung lower limit. B is yung upper limit. So, paano ba? So, paano mo makuha yung upper limit and lower limit? So, in this um, scenario, pwede mo makuha yung limit natin by just looking at the graph. Okay? So, kung I-check mo to, yung shape natin. Siyempre yung lower limit is yung starting point natin, which is here. X-axis tayo, ah. So, in terms of X. So, titingin tayo sa X-axis lang. Okay? Kung Y-axis yung revolution, hindi sa Y-axis tayo titingin. Okay? So, ito, X. So, ito, sa origin, so which means, ang ating starting limit is 0. X is equal to 0. Then next is yung ito. And we know na 2 yan. Kasi because of this. Yan. So x is equal to 2. So para naman kung ayaw mong tingnan yung graph. If gusto mo makuha lang yung limit by just looking at the um, problem. Okay? So in this situation naman, given na yung x is equal to 2 natin. So 
ayan siya. So, para mo makuha yung x is equal to 0 kasi wala naman siya sa problem, di ba? Di siya even. So, ang gagawin mo lang palagi is to plug in yung values ng y. Wala rin ito. Di ba? Ang value na is y is equal to 0. So, ilagay mo lang siya dito sa loob ng y na yan. So, sige, sulit natin. So, ito ba ito? Ano ba yung y? Di ba 0? So, 0 squared is equal to 8x. Tapos, um, magiging 0 na yan. And divide both side by 8. Magiging 8 is equal to 0. So, doon nakuha yung lower limit. Okay? So, magiging integral from 0 to A. And then, pi, since constant yung pi, palagi mo siyang isulat siya. Hindi yung hindi mo pwedeng baguhin yan, okay? Then next, R squared. Pero wait, yung R, hindi siya in terms of X. So, parang gawin natin. Kasi need siya in terms of X. ba? Pag this method, kay tandaan nyo, kapag X axis, kung saan axis siya nagre-revolve, dapat dun siya in terms with, mayari, ito, x-axis yung revolution, dapat in terms of x. So, ano ba yung r natin? Yung r is yung radius. So, para makuha mo yung radius, check mo yung graph. Ito yung, ano natin, r. So, yung radius is yung distance from axis up to yung highest point ng, ano natin, shape. Kunwari, ito. Ayan. Pag drawing tayo ng rectangle, vertical. So, yung length Yung haba nitong vertical um, shape, uh, yung itong vertical rectangle, is yung radius natin. Okay? So, pwedeng ano yan. So, since wala tayong isang value ng radius, kasi nag-iba-iba yan. Kasi nga, di ba, from here to here, kukunin mo yung radius. Nare, from here, ito yung radius niya. Nare, from here, ito yung radius. Habang kinukuha mo yung, ano niya, integral from zero to here, to 2, mas humahaba yung rectangle, yung ano natin, rectangle, ganyan, mas humahaba. So, wala siyang isang definite na value. Nag-iiba siya. Okay? So, R is the length of this vertical rectangle, which means R is equal to Y. Okay? Diba need natin, yung R is need na maging in terms of X. So, Ang gawin natin is yung itong y, gawin natin x yan. Paano? E diba ito sa equation? Ang kailangan lang dito is yung y. So para matanggal yung square, kailangan mo siyang square root both side. So magiging x, uh, y is equal to square root of 8x. Okay? So ito ilalagay natin dyan. So r is equal to square root of 8x. So ilagay natin siya dito sa equation. Square root of, eight, of 8x squared dx. So, it, ito na yung integral natin. Okay? So, pag sirold mo siya, ang magiging sagot niyan is 16 pi. Okay? So, um, volume is equal to 16 pi. So, now na meron tayong volume, next step is to find the centroid na, finally. So, our centroid ang hanapin natin sa centroid is yung x-bar. Kasi, around x-axis siya. Kung y-axis yung revolution, y-bar yung hanapin natin. Pero ito, x-bar. Okay? Kasi so, yung ating centroid is x-bar, 0, 0. Okay? So, para ba makuha yung value ng x-bar? So, makuha siya by getting the moment y, z, and dividing it over volume. So, meron tayong volume, di ba? Pero wala tayong moment y, z. So, ito naman, panibagong formula ulit. Okay? So, moment y, z can be calculated by So, same lang to. Ito yung shortcut din, guys. So, 0 to 2 pi copy mo na yung ginawa mo kanina square root 8x raised to 2 x. Pero ito, lalagyan mo lang siya ng x sa harapan. Okay? And yung shortcut niyan, guys. Tapos, pag i mo siya, ang magiging sagot is 64 
pi over 3. So, ito yung moment yz natin. Ayan na. Kunti na lang, makuha natin yung sagot. So, centroid, uh, so, x bar is equal to, ito, 64, yung moment yz natin, over 3, over, ito, 16 pi, yung volume natin. And then, pwede mo itong iangat, ano mo siya, i-reciprocal, so 64 pi over 3 times 1 over 16 pi. And then, cancel itong dalawang pi, malitirize 4. Ito naman y. So, that means our x bar is 4 over 3. Okay? So, our final answer is centroid. 4 over 3, 0, 0. So, ito yung sagot natin. Bye-bye.